Welcome back to another LMMS tutorial. In this video, uh, we're going to be learning about some of these different instrument plugins and the way that LMMS handles audio files and uh, instrument configurations. So again, we're just going to close our FX mixer for now, close our controller rack if you open this up. Um, those kind of come up by default. And then we have just our song editor. We have no song in here. And we're going to go ahead and delete all this stuff. Remove, Just remove every track we have. Uh oh, remove remove, remove, remove. So we have a nice starting um, blank slate to work with. Uh, and the first thing I want to show you is if we come over here, we have these different instrument plugins. The top one is audio file processor. And we've actually, I'm not sure if we've used this or not yet, but let's drag it in. So this gets used quite a bit. And what it does, it just takes a recorded audio file on your computer and lets you, you play it as if it were an instrument. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to minimize out of here for a second, and I'm going to bring up Audacity. Audacity is like a free recording program. You're probably familiar with it. Um, it's a great tool to have. So I'm just going to record a, um, a quick little audio thing. I'm just going to say like, hello. Hello. Okay, so I just recorded this audio file saying hello. I'm going to go File, and I'm going to go Save. Uh, no, I'm going to go Export. Oops, Cancel. I'm just going to export this out as a WAV file on my desktop, and I'll call it hello.wav. Um, perfect. So now I have this file on my computer. Uh, I probably should have cut out the space. Actually, what I'm really going to do is take and I'm going to delete the space at the beginning and at the end of this. And now I'm going to re-export it. Sorry, guys. Just so it's, I'll, I'll just save over this one. Okay. So now if we play this, it should just be me saying hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, and that's like the pitch and the tone that it is and everything. Now let's go back into LMMS. And for our audio file processor, we're gonna come here and we're going to, well, first we have to actually bring this in. So to bring, to bring in a file into here, I think you can load it this way. I think there's a way to load it in, but maybe not. Oh yeah, right here. If we click on this little folder, there's a couple of ways we can we can process audio, but one of the ways is to, when we have this instrument, by default, if we hit play, nothing's happening. There's no sound wave here, so there's no audio to process. So we can't change anything or get any sound out of this yet. So first we have to bring in an audio file. So let's bring in that one I just recorded. We go to desktop, we go to this hello.wave and go to open. And now if we hit play, or not play, there's a little square if you see above the key, the keyboard right here, so if I play this key on the keyboard, hello. it plays hello. my recording exactly how it is. Hello. If I play a higher key, it'll play that same recording in a higher note. Hello. If I play it a lower key, it'll play the same recording in a lower note. Hello. So it just slows down the speed of it. Hello. And that's how it accomplishes a different pitch. Hello, 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 hello. So we could actually play a song of hellos using this, using my voice saying hello as an instrument. We go like, play like Mary Had a Little Lamb using this hello wave file. So I do this to illustrate um, kind of what this audio file processor is doing. Right now, it's just processing it and letting us change the pitch of it according to keys. And then we could come into our piano roll and we could play. Hello, hello, hello. We can actually use this as an instrument, right? Um, so what we actually end up doing is if we come down here into under samples and go to instruments, all these instruments are actually just audio files. So if we click play, if we just hold down the cello here, bass, organ, piano, this piano is a really good example. This piano note is a single recorded piano note, just like we did in Audacity to create this hello file. This piano note is just a recorded file. So if we drag it in, it's also being processed by this same instrument, uh, this instrument plugin of audio file processor. So if we click on it, it also has a square above this key. So this is the original audio file and a higher audio file sounds like this. So they didn't actually, someone didn't go and record every key of a piano. They just recorded one key of a piano and then they change the speed of the playback to achieve a different, uh, a different tone, a different uh, pitch of that note. So 
So that's, that really is playing the same audio file over and over and over again at just different pitches. Um, so hopefully this is starting to sink in what's going on here. Uh, that's, th this, is a, this is different. This is the first one we'll look at. As you watch more videos, we're going to go through some of the rest of these. These other instruments are doing it differently. They're not taking in an audio file, or at least not all of them. They're not taking in an audio file and processing it. But the one that is processing is this, this wave, uh, this uh, audio file processor. So if we close and go back to this hello wave, we can actually see there's some different settings in here. We've got volume. Hello. So we can change and make the volume louder on here if we want. Hello. Hello. We can change the pan. So we, if we want it to come out the left speaker or the right speaker. Um, with the pitch, we can change like the pitch before the key as well. Hello. But pitch will just keep there too. Actually, I don't know if any of that's even changing. We can come here and change. Nah, we're not going to change. Just know that we can make changes to this, but we're, we're not really going to make any changes to this right now. Um, we could we could change where we come in. So if we have a longer audio file, I went and cut the beginning and the end of this. Like this is where the start and end points are. Uh, I forget. I think we do we right click. I'm not sure how to set the. Oh, right here. So this sets the start point, and then this sets the end point. So we could cut it right to there and there, and then when this button is selected, it'll only you play those points there. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. So this is starting here, and it's going to end right there. If we do if we do this R, it reverses it. Voila. 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 Which you wouldn't want to do with spoken audio, but with a piano, it might make a good effect if we reverse the piano. So that can be kind of cool. Um, what else do we have? We have looping here. So if we, if we have loop, it'll actually, if we come to loop and we set a start point, at like right here and an end point at right here or an end point at right here. Oh, I'm sorry. This isn't the, this is something else. Hover over to see what this is. Loop back point. Yeah. So the loop back point, then if we just hold down the key, it just loops through that part because that could be an effect, right? For your song, you could actually have a cool effect to loop back and forth just like this. And then what's this one do? Enable loop. Oh, so yeah. Anyway, that is using the audio processor in um, in LMMS. So play with that. I would say don't get into any of these other tabs for now. Just worry about this very first one and these different points. What's this one here? Volume. Oh yeah, this controls like the amplitude of the uh, of the actual audio file. So basically volume, yeah. How loud it is. Appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully it's been kind of informative. Play with that audio file processor and then we'll play with some of these other instruments in future tutorials. Thanks for watching.